Coming up in this video, we visit the Grange Caravan and Touring Park, where we receive the warmest of welcomes from the wardens, and they've put us on a wonderful pitch down in the dell. Hard standing, 16 amp electric, what more could we ask for? We visit nearby Hemsby, a mini Las Vegas, I tell you, and granddaughter Savannah had a wonderful time putting all of granddad's money into those two penny slot machines. Right next to the caravan park was the Smokehouse Restaurant. The food there was amazing. A bit of a Texan style, ribs, burgers, chicken, etc. We absolutely loved it. So much, in fact, we had to visit on more than one occasion. We had an amazing few days here, and we do hope you enjoy the video. Well, hi everyone. Warm welcome back to the channel. A very warm one. It is a very hot, warm welcome back. Mm. So we're off on our travels, and you know what? We're not going very far because <laughs> we get a lot of comments from people saying, they used to come to Caser on Sea, which is where we live, and stay at Haven. But of course, the touring site at Haven is no more. And we've had a few people ask, can we recommend a site that's close by for Caser on Sea in Great Yarmouth? I mean, Great Yarmouth is literally a five minute drive. Four miles, I think. Four miles, yeah. Max. Um, the beach from where we are is a five minute walk. So where is there a site that you can go to that sort of ticks all the boxes that Haven used to do? Well, stay with us. We'll keep rolling because it's so close to home. I think we'll be there in about 90 seconds. Uh, we're not nuts. We're having some work done as well um, on the driveway. So we thought we'd kill two birds with one stone. When I say see you when we get there, I mean, we'll see you in a minute. Yeah. Bye for now. Bye. Well, we're all settled in here at the Grange. Must say, uh, we've got a lovely pitch right in the corner here. 
It's a boiling hot September day. How the weather changes. We've longed for days like this through July and August, haven't we? And here we are now. Anyway, I'll just quickly show you around. There's two sort of parts to this little site. It is only a small little site. We're down this bottom area here, a little, little bit of a dell, a cul-de-sac. And uh, we really like it, actually. As you worked out from the journey in, we're not probably even more than a mile away from home. And as Helen pointed out, we're having some work done uh, at home, so we wanted to come away for two or three weeks actually, but we're staying very local. So we thought this would be a perfect opportunity just to show you guys uh, a bit about the local area, because there are some good campsites, and it's a lovely area of Norfolk. You know, we're very close to Great Yarmouth. We're just literally in Caister on Sea. And um, there's a lovely beach here. The Grange uh, pub and smokehouse restaurant, which we're going to show you because we're going to go for a meal there. And since Haven closed their touring site, and then it's little sites like this that have picked up the business, but the good news is it's really not very expensive at all. And I'll put some dates down below, but I believe the site's open till uh, November. I can't remember if it's the beginning of November or the end. But I'll just put some details down below. And we're just here for three nights before we move on to another site. And we'll go and check in with Helen just to see exactly how much we've paid. Here's Helen, who's yeah. just been downing a very large Malibu and orange. Whilst I had a ghost yeah, ship. I found it in the cupboard, so I thought I'd better empty it. Found it? You put it there, what are you talking about? <laughs> so Helen, how much have we paid for three nights? I think we paid uh, £61 for three nights, that's for the dog. Um, they're quite okay about bringing us a parrot at night. Yeah, we're going to bring the, uh, our parrot with us. We don't show the parrot very often in our films, do we, in our videos, but um, we'll bring Coco along and uh, you, can, yeah. you can meet Coco. Coco's uh, messy. Well, that's a good job. We've got a new Hoover then. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> hey, you're a good boy. Hello. Hello, cool. Hello. <laughs> he talks a lot, but not when you're looking at him. He's quite shy. Uh, you know, he, if you've seen some video of ours, you might know that he, he has a massive cage outside in the back garden, a big cage in the house, and then his little travel cage when we occasionally bring him away. More often than not, he goes to the Parrot Hotel for his holidays. He lives it there because there's about 14 other parrots there and he gets a massive cage to play in as well. But uh, I was just saying what a lovely pitch we've got. There's two yeah. parts of the site. We'll go for a little walk around the site shortly. So we'll show you some, some of the facilities. Um, the front area, a bit closer to the main road, isn't it? It is, yes. We've and got a little bit of road noise there. We prefer this back yeah. piece. So the, the grass pitches, very nice though, it's really, really, nice, um, yeah. really smart, quite like it. But uh, yeah, a little bit noisier because it's, it's closer to a, the sort of case to bypass, but mm. you don't hear that here. But it's, it's nice because you've got the pub and you've got the uh, American Steakhouse if you want to eat there. Which which we're going to go get bonus. something to eat there, aren't we? We are, certainly, yeah. yeah. We'll have so a look at that. We'll show you that when we go. Yeah. Uh, what I might do, because I think we're into the last few days of the really hot weather, so I may tonight do a French's style star gaze thing. What do they oh, call it? I don't know what you call it. I don't know what they call I'm it either. Technical. Uh, but I'm going to get the GoPro out at night tonight because it's the dark. The nights are drawing in, and see our star trail. See if we can get a little star trail from here. But I find the North Star and set it up, and we'll see what it looks like. Anyway, we'll take you for a walk around shortly. So I'll just take you for a little walk up to the part of the site. This is where the toilet block and showers are as well. It's also where the sort of refuse collection area and reception is. So we're going to have a look. Just over there is the Smokehouse restaurant and also the Grange a pub as well. Little seating area over here, look, and an area to play table tennis and a little children's play area too. And another little play area just over here. This is also where the uh, Elson Point is.
a little look around the gents' toilets here, and the showers, first of all, are the ones that everyone likes with a little push button that you have to keep your hand on. Uh, but that aside, the water's really nice and hot, very warm, and the toilet blocks themselves, although a little dated, a little 80s style with their bright coloured tiles and washed hand basins. Very clean, and that's all you could hope for, really. And as I say, lots of hot water, even flowers in the gents' toilet, unheard of. Outdoor wash-up area just here. Disabled toilets too. Washing machine, tumble dryer, just here. Tokens, five pounds from the office. From reception, tumble dryers, 20p coins. Ladies toilets. And some what's on in the area as well. So it's uh, all grass pitches on this side and a blend of camping, caravans, campers, motorhomes, they're all here. It's dog friendly, so dogs are welcome. Hiya. I'll put a little uh, bit of text up now with the total number of pitches available. But uh, all with electric hookup. We're on 16 amp with a hard standing where we are. Volkswagen Calypso for sale, 19,500. Two bath. Mm. Now you're probably starting to pick up some road noise because just to the side of that fence and the trees is the, uh, well it's the Caster Bypass, Caster on Sea Bypass. So that was kind of why we decided to pop down on the other side. Now you don't really pick up that road noise until you get halfway across this area. So if you picked, I think on the far side, you're going to be fine. Notice no one pitched. I think this could be a camping area or this green bit, but no one's pitched here anyway. That's the refuse centre right in the middle there, just under the trees, that's where you take your rubbish. I'll just show you the, uh, the bypass I'm talking about. So it can get pretty busy on this road as you can see. But it's the Grange Touring Caravan and Camping Park. And then alongside that you've got the Smokehouse Bar and Grill which is called the Grange. The uh, Sherrod Entrance in. They are separate businesses, separate enterprises. But you couldn't get much closer, could you? Because there's the caravan park over there. And then here's the Grange over here. This place is very popular. Popular with families. Very busy at weekends. Summer holidays, as you might expect. We we're going to go and have a bite to eat in here. So we'll show you around when we do. 
So one of the attractions of the Grange, especially at the weekend, is this place here. The touring site's great, but we're going to walk one minute and we're over here. And we're going to go have a spot of lunch, Ellen, aren't we? Yeah, we're going to have a bit to eat, yeah. Come on then, let's go do it. So Helen, how would you rate your start of the onion bloomer? Quite big one of you, it must have been. <laughs> <laughs> that's a lie, that's a it damn right a lie. Onion, it, was. Mm, it was a big onion. Yeah. And the chicken wings, they were good, weren't they? I had one of them. Mm. Mm. So we're, pretty good, yeah. we're now holding out for the main course. Mm. We'll show you that in a second. So I'm just heading back round to the caravan, but there's a sort of a, a little back way onto this uh, bottom area where we are as well. So just the other side of the children's playground. And down here. That's a big old tent they've got. The Grange has got some holiday chalets, or used to have. I don't know if they still are holiday chalets, but they used to be. Probably staff quarters now, I should think. So you can tell why we've chosen this bit of the back because it's uh, it's a little bit quieter down here. And there's Bella. Bella. Hello, Bella. Bella doing what Bella does best. Nothing. She's relaxing. Are you relaxing, Bella? Yeah. Are you having a relaxing time? Good little dog. So it's tea time. It's five o'clock everywhere, somewhere. Uh, so the ghost ship's on the go. Uh, on the teppanyaki this evening, we've got some seasoned um, chili. Uh, belly pork and on this side we have some lamb some lamb steaks Helen's going to knock up some coleslaw and potato salad to have with these and that'll be tonight's tea for us just give us a little turn cooking away nicely cheers everyone If there could only be one beer in the world, it might as well be Ghost Ship, because it is superb. Cheers.
Now Lidl's is just down the road, so I've just been and got some fresh morning rolls and uh, we're going continental breakfast style this morning. Starting off with um, apricot marmalade, some um, strawberry jam, orange juice, and then it'll be coffee time. Bit cloudy this morning though, folks. The sun's gone away, but it's still rather warm and it's dry at the moment. Thunderstorms expected later. If that does occur, because we'll bring you all the action here as it happens, so stay Peace tuned. Guys. And you know, if you eat all your food tonight, what are we going to do? Go to the arcade. Go to the arcades and yeah. play on the two penny machines, aren't we? Do you know what? What? I want a bracelet and two squishy octopuses. Two squashy octopuses? Is that what you won? Yes. Oh, cool. <laughs> and I also forgot my prize. A cover chain, a little sad and little happy and sad Peggy. You oh. know those things when you turn them inside out? Oh, I know, the octopus. Yeah, mine is different because the sad one is rainbow and when you yeah. flip it to happy, it's spotted. That's, it. <laughs> That's right. It's very different. You're very chatty. Right, Sav, things. this is the smokehouse. Let's see if we can get in. We'll try our luck. <clears throat> I hope so. Well, that didn't quite go to plan because we thought we'd, you know, being midweek now, we'd just pop along and get in. So if you want to come to the smokehouse, folks, and have a bite to eat, book a table online. It's simple. And we didn't do it, Sav, did we? Well, I was no. gone there and you said, no, you don't have to Now we have to eat dinner at eight. So Sav does like her two penny slot machines. So that's what we're going to do now. Uh, down here at Hemsby. Now Hemsby is just about a five minute drive maximum from the Grange so not far at all. Big public car park here look and parking is free for the first hour and uh, it's all number plate recognition which is superb. She got a little win. Sorry, but the, the club is closed. Oh. Can I have my two Of course, in the height of the season, this place is mobbed. It's full of holiday parks, chalet parks, caravan parks, and the like. And it's like a little mini Las Vegas in the summer, it really is. Gift shops. Kebab shops, fish and chip shops, pubs, restaurants, and of course, lots of amusement arcades. And uh, don't they look great at night? The Palace Casino over there. And uh, this is the Oasis Family Entertainment Centre. More amusement parks, ice creams, hot dogs, candy floss. Formula One racing for the children. Yeah. Ice creams over here. There's a fairground which is closed at the moment. Uh, at the back here they've got the waltzes and a few fairground rides. And then here, the Mirage. And you know these machines, I don't think they ever turn them off. Apparently if you turn them off, when you turn them back on they might not work, so we just keep them on all the time. But it's lovely and colourful, a sight to behold. The beach is just around the corner here, I'm not going to go this far because we've got to go and get some food. And also is the LA Lounge, Lake and Arms pub, superb. There's a Hollywood diner in here which is now closed unfortunately. And this is the main entrance to the fun park where the amusement arcade and the fairground rides are. So I'm going to hold it here and scan back round and we'll cross back over this side one thing's for certain you can soon part with your cash in a place like this but it's one of these places where you've got to come bring the kids Get your two penny rides out. There's a Seadell Bar and China Boy restaurant down there. Yeah, get your two P coins out. Sav has just spent about four pounds 
in five minutes in two pence pieces. But to be honest, I've never seen anyone put two peas in a machine <laughs> quite at the rate she has. That might just be the biggest dog I've ever seen in my life. I love you on there. I love you. But that was a whistle stop tour of Hemsby at night. And what we're going to do now, get back in the car, get back to the smokehouse and go and have some late tea. And then Sav will have to go to bed. Okay, we're here again. Oh, are you right? We've got a table for um, three of us. Yeah. So eight o'clock food. Yeah. Thank you. What are you doing? Watching TV. You're watching YouTube. So that's where we have to leave it on this occasion. We had a great time at the Grange, we really did, and Sav thoroughly enjoyed a short stay with us. Don't forget, as I always say, if you have been, thank you for watching. Hit that subscribe button now, give us a thumbs up, and don't forget the notification bell as well. That will let you know when all of our videos are being released. But most importantly, please do leave a comment. We love your feedback, and we like to answer every comment that we get, and we appreciate all the support you give us. So we'll catch you in our next video, coming your way very soon. But until then, bye for now. Bye.